Yeah, this video takes a closer look at something called a QR code, which is essentially uh, something that you've probably seen more often, uh, whether it's the grocery store, you may see it on cereal boxes, but what a QR code is, it's a quick response code. That's what QR stands for, but it's basically a link that will take you to, it might be a website, it might be a just a, a regular message of text, it could be uh, a link that makes you send a text message to somebody. You can basically link somebody to a, a multitude of different things. So what I'm going to do is I have some QR codes posted in my classroom for a different activity or an activity that my students are participating in today in class. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to start scanning these codes and what you're going to see is in the app that I'm using to scan them is called Crafter, QRafter and you probably already have this installed on your your district iPad. And I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to start scanning codes. And the first, multi, or the the first few codes here, they are all linked to a document that I just posted on Google Drive. It's a Google Doc essentially, and I shared that link, and I took that link and I created a QR code out of, of it. Now, at the end of this video, I'll show you a quick way how to how to make a QR code. Uh, but here, I'm just going and scanning all of these, and they're all bringing me to just it's just a basic document that's all it is so a student scans this and they see this document now moving forward with this I don't always have to have a kid just see a document now I can have anything else on there that I've linked to so one of these might just be a cartoon picture that I have linked to and you're also going to see a map that I've sent or that I have posted and then I also have a student scan it and they'll see another picture here but I could have them go to a YouTube video, anything that I can link to, I can have the students get to. Alright, now let's talk about how to make your own QR code. Now there's a ton of different websites out there, they're all predominantly free websites that you can use to make a QR code. So I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to use the website that I typically use and as you can see I'm going to open up YouTube but I don't need that open yet. Uh, I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to go to a website called qrstuff.com and really if you went to Google and you just typed in free QR code generator there would be four or five good ones that you could use really it's up to your personal preference of what you use so here I am on qrstuff.com and you can see all of these different options on the screen are all things that I can use to create a QR code for uh, but I'm just going to make one to a basic website because I want a student to go to a website and starting here I want to, I'm actually going to go back to YouTube because I'm going to want to link to a YouTube video. So if a student scans it, this, uh, this QR code, they would be brought to a YouTube video rather than having them type in a link, they would go right to it. So here I have, I'm just as an example, the Quartering Act of 1765. And let's say that I select a video that I really want students to watch. And I need to get the link for it. So I copied the link from the YouTube video and I'm just pasting it right in website URL and you can see on the right side that QR code changed. And just to show you an example here, I'm going to type in Google to show you how uh, that QR code link would change as I type different things in. So it kind of updates as I type in uh, the website link. And you can see it just changed again. So I'm going to get rid of Google.com and I'm going to go back to the, the YouTube link that I actually wanted people to go to or my students to go to it generates a QR code, I hit download QR code and then it'll pop up on my screen and I just hit save image and now I have a QR code in my camera roll for students to go to. So how I give this out to students, it's really up to you. Uh, it's whatever works in your classroom. So that's a quick little demonstration of how to what QR codes could be used for and how to generate a QR code.